Hello and welcome to accessmatter.com. I'm Rizwan and today I'm actually going to deviate from the topic of entrepreneurship and business and all that stuff uh, to give you a little tip on how to use pingbacks and trackbacks and what the differences are and all that. Um, please, I'm doing this with WordPress in mind so if you're not using WordPress um, you probably have to explore a bit before being able to see what or where your functions lie but anyway, um, this is what I'm going to go through today what's the difference between the usage of pingbacks and trackbacks why is it useful and of course how to actually use them in your WordPress engine now when you use a pingback pingbacks are generally used to notify block directories there's examples being Technorati, ping.sg uh, there's a whole lot more lying around so you have to look for it uh, what it basically does is each time you post a block entry if you have your pingback your auto pingback configured the directory is then automatically notified of your new article. Um, this is good because then it lists your blog every time you update. Um, what then is a trackback? Trackbacks are used if you want to notify another author that you're responding to his, to his or her entry. Um, it's also used if you want to notify that you are actually writing an entry that's related to that topic. Um, again, this is good because it lists your blog on that person's entry. Um, why use them? <coughs> for for you as a blogger, it means that you're going to be listed in more places. That's what you want, right? You want people to see you. You want people to read your blog. Um, of course, there's there's stuff like search engine optimization, but that's a whole topic on its own. So if you're interested in that, please go to Yahoo or Google and search for SEO or search engine optimization. You will get a ton of links. Check that out. Um, by using trackbacks you're actually also doing the reader a favor because you're helping him to mark out entries that are relevant take for instance if you are at a blog reading about global reforestation and you decided to write about reforestation in your country having a trackback to the original article simply means that readers of that article who, who perhaps could be doing research or could, could just have a general interest in reforestation you are well, you're providing him a link to a relevant article, which is yours. Now, it's a win-win for both you and the reader. Um, so, now let's go, get down to the nitty-gritty details. Um, how do you actually use them? Um, well, I'm going to take you to my blog, and we'll actually go to the back end of my blog. Um, on the main screen, if you actually go to write, write post, and you scroll all the way down, you're going to see a section called trackbacks. Yep, this is where you put your trackback entries. Um, now you're asking me, how do you get this URL for the trackbacks? Again, I'm going to use my blog as an example. Most blogs have this function. You either have to click into the entry itself, or just scroll down to the end of the post. They should have a word called trackback. All you have to do is, when you move your mouse over, if you realize the status bar, it actually puts in the URL of that entry with um, a slash trackback at the end. Most sites use this, but it might not be the case all the time. So just to simplify things, just copy the link, go back to your engine, and just paste it in. And you're done. Yep. Now, when you actually post your entry um, and publish it, it's going to track back to that article. And if you want to check, you can actually just go to his site and oops, pardon the MSN pop-ups, but if you actually go to his site, you're going to see that um, your entry is listed on his page. Now, if you don't see your article there, don't panic, because it could be one of several reasons. Firstly, it could just be a delay. Wait, wait a couple of minutes, check back, refresh your page. It should be there. If it's still not there, it could be that the author of the other blog actually requires his authorization before any trackbacks are uh, listed on his page. So that might take a bit longer, probably a day, probably less, probably more, but no no cause for concern. Besides, you're not going to lose anything. Um, now, now we go on to pingbacks. Uh, pingbacks are located under Options, Writing. If you scroll down, you will see here, Update Services. Basically, when you post a new entry, all these sites will be notified. All, all these sites will be notified of your new entry. Now, uh, I, I got this whole list of pings of uh, WordPress.org, so you might want to check out that as well. I think I think you can use this link, and it will 
show you all the services available. Um, yeah, so other than this link, if 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 you are wondering how you how anybody can get the URL of the ping services, um, you're gonna have to surf around the block directory engine. Using Technorati as an example, if you actually go to the home page on the bottom left hand corner there's actually a a link called ping us clicking that brings you to the page that we were at pardon the slow internet connection ah, speed of technology these days very fast yes very very fast pardon me this is what happens yep finally okay on this page you realize that tada here's the address again just copy this go back to that add it to the list of updating services and save it now every time you post these guys are going to be notified so that's all I'm gonna show you for today uh, if you have any more questions anything you want to ask just drop me an email at ritz84 at gmail.com um, otherwise, well, happy pinging away. Bye-bye.